Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. So in a recent update, Epic Games actually made a change to the Destroy the Encampment missions. Beforehand, they were 20 minute long missions and it didn't matter if you cleared all of the objectives or not, you were stuck in there for the full 20 minute time frame. The change they made was once you've completed all of the super encampments, the mission ends and you're no longer stuck waiting for whatever additional time you had. This is a game changer when it comes to farming these missions. Before, at least in the higher level areas, they were pretty pretty decent for farming reperk. You could easily get your 50 miss monster kills in one go, clearing all of the super encampments. So I wanted to go back, take a look at them, and weigh out some pros and cons of farming these missions now, because I know it kind of flew under a lot of people's radars, and they really don't think to farm these when there's the four times missions available. So let's go ahead and get right into these pros and cons. So starting with the pros, first, this mission can be soloed with ease, even in the high level areas. If you're using something like a Dragon Scorch or something like a controller with some decent explosive weapons, soloing even the super encampments is super easy. My go-to setup is generally slow field, hover turrets, and then whatever here I'm using with a dam buster and a grenade launcher. Moving on, no real building materials are needed here. I know some people tend to throw up like a little wall on a ramp so they can have something to take cover from the blasters, but you really don't need to build anything at all unless you're traversing around the map. My third point here for the pros is as long as you're efficient, it can be done in 10 minutes or less, clearing all of the super encampments, and that's even solo. It pushes it a little bit if you're solo, it just depends on how tactical you are about avoiding the mist monsters, because the blasters can and will nuke your health in seconds, but if you're efficient, you can clear these missions in 10 minutes easily, and if you have a group, for sure it can be cleared in 10 minutes or less. As I said a little bit earlier, you can get your 50 Miss Monster Kill Challenge in one run in the high level areas, clearing all of the super encampments. Beforehand doing this, you could get about 300 reperk an hour, and that was literally completing the mission, going back in, and doing it straight away. Now, 5 to 600 is possible depending on your team composition. If you're super efficient as a solo, you can easily get 500 an hour, and if you guys have a really efficient 4-man team, or even a 2-man team, you could get through these at least 6 times in an hour. So you could get up to 600 reperk, but that's absolute best case 100% efficiency. And then for the last thing I have here, the gold you can get from this, at least in the higher level areas, is relatively decent. Of course, if you're wanting to just farm gold, you can always go into the low level stonewood areas, throw down a box around the atlas, and you're good to go. But this is a pretty decent farming method with very little cons to it, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the cons. First off is the 4 times missions will obviously reward more XP and perk up if that's what you're after. And the other con that I have listed here, this isn't going to affect solo players at all, but getting your 50 miss monster kill challenge done for everybody is a little tedious if you aren't solo. The reason for that is if you have friends with you, they have to at least damage the miss monster or it's not going to count towards their challenge. They can't be in the general area or it's not going to progress their challenge at all. So if you're running it with multiple people, Everybody has to damage the mist monsters. If they're not too worried about it, this isn't going to be a con to you. But if you guys are wanting to farm reperk and seasonal gold, you guys can do this, and it's pretty effective. It's one of my go-to farming methods now after this change to the missions. Beforehand, I really wasn't all about it. I would just go into like challenge the horde and do my reperk and perk up grinding and whatnot. But let me know what you guys think of the encampment missions. I for sure agree that this needs to be put on the build the radar missions, but that will come in due time. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below what are your guys's favorite farming methods for your certain materials but anyways i hope you guys found today's video helpful if you did a like is always appreciated and if you happen to be new to split screen be sure to subscribe for everything fortnite and more once again my name is morgan thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time